Karen, were you surprised by this announcement? I was not surprised that um, they uh, that a, a replacement for Jeff Immelt um, was announced. I mean, it, it was bubbling for a while, yes. and it felt like it was the only way the stock could could start going up again. If it was fresh blood. Well, with the fresh blood, is there a, is there a tincture here that Mr. Immelt has underperformed? Uh, uh, well. He's done a, certainly remade the company, in my, in my opinion, and um, you know, operationally, uh, he, I think he's he's done uh, a tremendous job of making the new GE. Um, the, the problem is um, the earnings. Uh, you know, the the earnings have really not gotten going. The orga organic growth is not not bad, but you know, the wind, the t the tides had changed. People felt that Jeff was not the guy to move them to the next phase, and I think this right. is actually an important step. Let's look at the three phases here. For those of you on Bloomberg Radio, it's a chart back to 1993 from Jack Welch to Mr. M. Eldon on to the new Mr. Flannery. This is a great chart. It's a log. Terry Simpson of BlackRock demanded I do this log. Here's the Welch juggernaut, the financial and leverage expansion granted through the 90s. Here's where Mr. M. Eldon took over, and then down we go with the long-term underperformance, but many would give Mr. Mr. Immelt credit for the crater in 2009 with GE Capital and the huge recovery in GE from 10 uh, to 30 as well. Which is it, Karen? Is it the recovery of the stock or is it that long-term disappointment through a tumultuous time? I actually think, um, you know, given uh, 2009 uh, was a shakeup for for everyone. Um, I think the the biggest thing that's going to stick in, in Jeff's legacy is the fact that he decided GE Capital, uh, as it was structured, would no longer work, and he took a huge step to go back to their roots, which is an industrial manufacturing company. Yeah. I actually give him credit for that. Um, the the underperformance was, um, you know, that he couldn't move the needle really on earnings, and then he set a, a bar of making a two dollar number, and you know people just beat him up every right. you know every step of the way, and and he wouldn't come a step away and say you know okay two dollars we're not going to make that, and so he he, right. he you know people felt he couldn't meet his next big goal.